What is adjustment disorder? Adjustment disorder is defined as depressive and or anxious symptoms that occur soon after a major life stressor, such as going through a divorce or losing a job. Naturally, the presence of depressive and anxious symptoms may make us ask how it relates to those disorders, while the involvement of a major life stressor may make us wonder how it relates to PTSD. In this way, adjustment disorder sits at the crossroads of a few different conditions, so if you haven't yet watched my videos on depression, anxiety, and PTSD, consider doing that first. I'll put the links in the description below. Let's first look at how it differs from depression, which is especially tricky because we've already established that depressive episodes can also occur after major stressful life events. The key here is that the symptoms are not so severe that the patient would meet criteria for clinical depression, with less than 5 out of 9 of the criteria being met. Patients may have a low mood in response to whatever the stressor is, as well as some other symptoms, like difficulty sleeping or trouble concentrating, but in total, their symptoms are not so numerous or severe that a full-blown major depressive episode would be diagnosed. The same rules apply for anxiety. While anxiety is frequently reported as a primary symptom in adjustment disorder, the patient must not meet criteria for a full-blown anxiety disorder, and the anxiety must have started after and be directly related to a significant life change or stressor. Finally, how does it differ from PTSD? Recall that trauma is somewhat narrowly defined in the DSM as a life-threatening or violent event, so a diagnosis of PTSD should not be given to someone who is experiencing symptoms after other kinds of life experiences, such as losing a job or being cheated on by their spouse, that are still distressing but not necessarily life-threatening. In these cases, a diagnosis of adjustment disorder would be more appropriate. In addition, patients with adjustment disorder tend not to experience problems in the same domains that are seen in PTSD, with re-experiencing, hyperarousal, and avoidance being uncommon. So if adjustment disorder is basically a non-disorder that isn't severe enough to be a full-blown depressive or anxiety disorder and incurs in response to a stress that isn't life-threatening or violent enough to be trauma, what purpose does it serve exactly? In my view, the best way of seeing adjustment disorder is as a non-stigmatizing diagnosis of normalcy that recognizes that some degree of distress is normal and expected following a major life change, but still allows the patients to access helpful forms of treatment. In this case, a type of psychotherapy known as supportive therapy, which allows the patient to discuss their psychological reactions in a setting that is empathic and compassionate, is the gold standard of treatment. You can remember this using the rhyming phrase, for adjustment disorder, adjust a supporter. Ultimately, it can be just as helpful to remember adjustment disorder in terms of what it's not than in terms of what it is. The continued existence of adjustment disorder as a diagnosable mental disorder likely reflects the fact that it ultimately serves a practical purpose by allowing clinicians to provide treatment for grieving or suffering patients in a way that is normalizing, non-stigmatizing, and permits reimbursement for medical services. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you want more content like this, consider subscribing to my channel and getting my book Memorable Psychiatry which breaks down the field of mental health in the same understandable and easy to digest way that these videos do. Until next time, bye for now.